play between here. the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Cleveland Indians. It's Mike Clevenger gets the ball for the Indians in this one. Dan and with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, you have to look out for the guy they call Simba. Andrelton Simmons. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. And he can do a lot. Nolan Ryan is ready to go as he'll be on the mound. Sure. And with that, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the Indians. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. This is line to left into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Runner going a second time. Hot shot on the ground is short, and he's safe. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? The second for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play in the inning. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. One hit, one left. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we still have no score. Note now from the folks in programming, due to the length of our contest this afternoon, our afternoon cooking program in the kitchen with Scott Rohde will not be seen this afternoon. Ladies, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger. Now, with only one away, in now is Andrelton Simmons. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Now a long throw home. He's safe. The throw was offline. And deep into Damn. extra innings, they have taken the lead. Line drive to center field. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Hansel Robles pitches well enough to get the W. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Interleague baseball comes your way next. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Any time a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Ground ball left side. And there's a base hit, and the tribe are going to strike first in this one. It's one to nothing. Hey, there's a clean base hit right there, d row to drive that runner in from third base. Yeah, he was telling the boys, get it ready right here. I'm going to walk home on this one. That was easy to read through the hole, and he was able to take it. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. 
Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Gone! When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. A hey, good job of hitting right there, D. A runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, it took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Arizona and spring training baseball after this. From the belt, the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. To second for one. Relay to Bowers, a double play, and that's how the inning ends. First offering on its way. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And it's gone as they add still another. Well, you've got to love seeing a team that's never satisfied. They were up, but they've extended the lead to an even more comfortable four-run margin. Going to be tough to come back from this one. Swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Mercado is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 7-4 the final finish today. The Cleveland Indians led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Bob Feller earns the victory on the mound. Madison Bumgarner worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.